For anyone new to LoopCloud, this award-winning platform is the perfect solution to a producer's sampling needs, consolidating your entire sample collection in a single location, which allows seamless browsing, whether samples are local or in the cloud, as well as comprehensive editing functions, all serving to minimize hard drive usage and accelerate your workflow to unprecedented levels. And when your sample collection doesn't deliver, the Loopmasters store is a single click away, making sure you can always find the samples that you're looking for. In this movie, I'm going to start building a track with LoopCloud and Ableton Live to show you how insanely quick and easy LoopCloud makes it to work with your sample collection and start creating your own quality music. Jumping right in, with the LoopCloud app up and running, I'll add the LoopCloud plugin to a MIDI track in Live. This makes LoopCloud connect to Live, so sample previewing is then locked to your project tempo. It also means I can do things like choose Match Tempo in the Key and BPM section, and then click Loop above, and then choose Kick as the instrument to check out any kick loops close to my project tempo in my library. And I can randomize the results to mix up which sample packs I'm looking in. And remember, all of these samples are playing from the cloud, not my hard drive. But once I've found the one I want, I can just drag it straight out into Live, at which point it downloads from the cloud to my hard drive. So I only download samples I'm using in the track. Now I'll get rid of Kick from the search and change it to Synth Bass. And as LoopCloud previews through the plugin's track in Live, I can add a sidechain compressor being fed from my kick track to add some ducking to the bass so it's pumping with the drums. And if I wanted to limit the search to a specific genre, I could choose one from the genre tab at the top, or just by clicking on one in the results area. And I'll drag that bass in now too. Now I've got a key to work with, I've got a few options. I can either select that key by clicking on the keyboard, so it only searches for samples tagged with that key. Or I can lose the key tag and work with the pitch controls in the player, where you've got a transpose dial for repitching samples. Rather than do it myself though, I can just turn on auto and then choose my key below to have it repitch samples automatically to get them in key. So to go with this one now, I just click download, then choose the processed option instead of original, so it drags out the sample with LoopCloud's alterations applied. In addition to timing and pitch adjustments though, the player allows extensive editing now too. So if I have a loop here, but I only want to play a particular part of it, then I can adjust the loop bracket and start position, I want to get rid of any parts, I can first zoom in by clicking on the top here and then dragging down. Then I can use the editing tools to do things like slice up the sample. Delete parts, move parts around. Change the level. Scrub through the sample to find different positions for a particular slice. And 
and create fades on the start or end of regions. And when I'm happy with it, again, drag in the processed version to download the edited sample to my computer and import it directly into Live. Working with OneShots also offers a load of superb options. So I'll clear my search now and choose OneShots, and then a different drum like snare or some different percussion. And in the player, I'll turn off Auto Key now and go to the Pattern section and choose one of the patterns in there, maybe from the percussion group. So you've got all sorts of interesting rhythms in addition to the standard kick and snare ones. Then again, dragging out the processed option downloads the one shot sequenced into that pattern straight into my door. And if I want to jam with melodic one-shots, then the Loop Cloud plugin's new keyboard feature allows me to try out different melodic phrases. And thanks to Live's Capture MIDI feature, if I stumbled across a good phrase there whilst jamming, I can always recapture it and then add that to a MIDI track with Simpleron, and then drag the sample out of Loop Cloud into that to recreate the jam. Whilst live makes sure you never lose any MIDI notes, Loop Cloud is just as vigilant with your sample browsing, with a history button at the top revealing every search made and sample played, so no sample is ever lost. And as well as playing Loop Cloud with a keyboard, it can be triggered by MIDI clips. So if I simply draw in notes here, then I can change up the sample in Loop Cloud to hear how my melody sounds with any of the samples in the cloud. So Loop Cloud has seriously revolutionized the way you can work with your sample collection. And there's loads more the software can do, including of course switching to the store rather than your library, where you can search through many more packs from the Loop Masters library, using all the same browsing functionality. And purchase any samples individually when you find one you like, and drag them straight out of Loop Cloud onto your computer and into your door in exactly the same way. I'll cover the store as well as several other areas of the software more fully in separate movies, so check out those for more detailed information on just how much Loop Cloud can do.